Morning, pen friends. It's Andy Dorm from PandaPenClub.com on the Panda Pen Club YouTube channel. And I'm rather precariously toasting some marshmallow. Trying not to singe my hands in honour of the pen we're going to review today, which is the Pen BBS 322 Mien Mien, aka Marshmallow. <laughs> it's quite hot. <laughs> side by side. Using a, a wilted stick of celery as a way of extending your marshmallow toasting stick is not something I'd recommend unless you're nuts. <laughs> but anyway, back to the, well. Mm. Smells delicious. But is a pen delicious? Let's talk about this pen. This is a clear plastic demonstrator. It's fairly slimline, as you can see. I've been writing with this for about two weeks now. And I'm not a massive fan overall. And I'll get to why, I suppose, through the course of these thoughts. Appearance-wise, it's not bad. It's quite nice. The demonstrator shaft is fully inhabited by the, by the converter, which I appreciate. I don't like to see too much space inside the shaft of a, of a demonstrator pen that is, uh, you know, arm, uh, armed with a converter or, or I suppose, a, um, uh, a cartridge. That aside, I don't think the appearance has a great deal to recommend it. It's got this quite sort of decisive looking um, clip. It, the clip recalls maybe a Roman nose. It's got this, this, uh, it's not, it doesn't particularly bend, but it's got this definite point to it that it sticks out at the top and then it's all it, the, the visual effect is all about this downward incline towards a kind of sword-like bladish quite pointy finish the overall effect is a bit like the profile of a nail and I'm not a huge fan overall. The finials are also a little weird. The upper uh, finial is, is, is threaded and presumably, or at least it, it is uh, incorrugated with the appearance of threading and screwed down on top of the, the, the ring that secures our our imperial clip twirling round like a like like Darcy Bustle maybe. Here is the lower finial. This is also a little strange. It's 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 got this sort of notched appearance. I haven't counted how many little facets there are to the to the to the finial, but there are at least ten, I would say. And they are like little, little bishop's hats in shape. And you can see them catching the light as I twirl the pen round. And they're set rather jarringly against the almost unassociated clear plastic of the body or shaft of the pen. The K 
cap is really thoroughly threaded. As you can see, there's quite a, quite a mess of threads there. And there is no finality to the tightening. And it's very susceptible to cracking as a result, this assembly. And I have noticed a couple of cracks in the model I have here um, when looked at under a, under a loop, which is a desperate shame. Very disappointing, in fact. Particularly when there is something rather attractive about what we have here. It's a number five nib, but because the pen's so tiny and dear and slimline, it looks a little larger than it is. It had some affinities to the Nemesine singularity, and I almost wanted to compare them side by side, but the, the, the nib is in fact so tiny, it, it's a really superficial likeness. Nonetheless, the nib, the nib does look promising on this pen, aside from the, the slightly sort of uh, waterlogged or inklogged feed and section we have here. It's not especially attractive the way that kind of floods in a, in an, with, with ink. <clears throat> Excuse me. Having said that, the writing experience with this pen is is perfectly fine. I have not disliked writing with this pen. It it writes a very 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 wet, extra fine line. It's a, it's. I would say it's on the on the the thicker side of extra fine. And because of all the wetness, it does have a certain rounded quality to the to the lines, and and it encourages neat, attractive lettering, which is nice. And 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 served very well by this absolutely adorable heart-shaped breather hole, which crops up now and again because it's such a lovely way of ornamenting a pen. Uh, for example, I, uh, my Platinum 3776 has one of these. And yeah, it's a nice touch, looks lovely. It makes the pen very sweet. And, you know, a demonstrator, it's got the words marshmallow written on it, mien mien, put some ink, some pink ink inside, and enjoy the, the, the flow of the pen. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to anybody simply because the, I don't quite trust the build quality of it. It fits together okay. I have had some problems with the section unscrewing the screw cap and managing to dislodge the section at the same time. And I've got the section really securely tightened on here now, but I have on many occasions accidentally unscrewed the section with the cap which is, well, it's not hugely reassuring and, and definitely not a pen to use in a hurry. The screw cap on a pen like this is quite curious, in fact. It seems to be a source of a lot of risks. And it seems to be what's creating a lot of this pen's problems for me. I have enjoyed using it on the basis that I have, but I probably wouldn't choose to use it on a permanent basis for any particular reason. I'll stick it in a drawer somewhere and and <laughs> we'll see if the ink's still flowing in a couple of months when I need it. But it's not a pen that I'm gonna fall in love with. The pen BBS 322, Yin Yin, Marshmallow. Doing the writing sample for the pen BBS 322. I find myself not by the fire in Dorset, but in an apartment in Nanjing in China for this part to complete my work on this video. Isn't life strange? So what do we think? Well, as I noted in the review, I just took the lid off this pen and got a little, managed to unscrew the section at the same time, which you know, I find irritating. 
Now, as a writer, pen PBS three two two marshmallow. It's marshmallow, isn't it? Not marshmallow, like like chilled out. Marshmallow, like the sweetie miam miam. One of my favourite things as a kid, I was always very into food orientated rituals as a child and one of my favourite rituals was to go to the library and get a stack of Tintin books and then and a bag of marshmallows. This was a sort of weekly thing. And I would, I would, I would go and lie on my bed and feel all cosy reading Tintin and eating marshmallows. Does this pen remind me of such idly glorious times? Well, not really. I, what to say about this pen as a writer? It's a precise little writer, but I'm, as you probably gathered from my review, I'm not hugely in love with it. I'm not, I sort of have a reasonable degree of respect. Oh, you can get a railroad. The feed doesn't keep up, sadly, if you try and, oh, and now we've lost the ink flow completely from that little attempt, which is, I've managed to screw up the, I've managed to, oh dear, there we are. I managed to partition the little nib, the little tines there. There we are, I've got it working again. So I'm afraid the final part of this writing review will be on a, a quick, on a damaged and quickly repaired version of this pen, which may feel a little unfair. But my Lord, that, that, that was not a lot of pressure I was putting on this here. I'm pretty cautious when it comes to, to, Checking for line variation. And it just again goes to the sort of, the, the, well, the way this pen feels flung together to me, sadly. Lovely panda seeks jinxed. Yeah, I've, I've completely, don't try and get line variation out of this pen. <laughs> I can't finish my damn sentence. My pangram's gonna be unfinished. Disastrous. But since I don't really recommend you buy this pen. Oh, there we are. Jinxed Zebra for quick game of whist. There are better Chinese fountain pens for you to spend your hard-earned cash on, in my opinion.